Hey everybody, I'm back with a quick share and a little haul. Um, so first I'll get into it. I don't think I ever shared these, but I made some sachets with this acorn die from inked paper or paper tray ink. And one of the things that was asked about this is that, can you cut fabric with these dies? And you can, but you need a little help with it. Um, so this is the fabric that I used. And I believe this fabric was given to me by um, Sonia de Jesus. So, um, uh, Sonia, if you're watching, thanks for, for the fabric. I think this is from her, if I'm not mistaken. So this fabric is a little bit thicker. It's kind of like the fabric you would use maybe for a chair cover or a curtain because it's heavier. Um, but the other thing that I did before I die cut it was to use this um, product. Now this is what I have on hand. You can probably use interfacing, which I didn't have, at least not the thin type. I had some for quilting, which is a little different. Um, so this is matte vinyl fuse, and this actually makes fabric waterproof or water resistant, I should say. Since I had this product, this is what I tried out. It's a fusible product. So you iron it on to the back of your or front, I guess in this case, if you wanted to make the front water um, resistant, um, you could do that. I ironed it to the back because I did not actually want it to show. I was just doing it so I could die cut it. Um, so that's what I did first. Um, took a section and um, followed the instructions on the packaging. And if you're wondering, it's the 102R-M is what I got. So I ironed it on and then I die cut the uh, acorn. It cut just fine. There was no issues with it cutting through. And then I stitched it together um, using some fabric on the front and felt on the back so that I could um, maximize my fabric. Um, because, you know, this is not meant to be an ornament. Actually, I made them into sachets. So these have the little pocket on the back. And there's lavender stuffed in here, um, like I did with the strawberry. So you can see the back is just felt. Um, you can put this in a drawer um, or something like that, or you can keep it around in a room. It will freshen for a while. And then as soon as the scent dries out, you can take this out and refill it with another one if you make, you know, sachets. Um, so that's what I did with this. And I actually made three of them. So I'll just show you all three. I used different uh, embroidery floss for each one. I tried to match them with the colors a little bit better. So this one has more roses in it. So I used a um, pink or peach colored, coral colored um, floss. And then this one has green because it had more leaves and such in, in the colors here. And then this one I used yellow um, or a mustard color for it. But they're all backed with the same felt color. Just so I wouldn't have to keep switching off. So... Um, that's what I wanted to share with you all in case you guys were wondering whether you could cut fabric with these dies. And the answer is yes, you just need to have um, a little bit of a stiffer fabric to do it and add some interfacing or something like this product to give it a more stiffness. And the dies should cut just fine. At least it did for me. I didn't have any issues going through. So... That's it for that. Um, for my haul, let me share with you what I got. Um, MFT was retiring some of their felt colors. So I placed an order. Their felt was, I want to say it was $1.75. So it was 50% off um, their felt. And so I ordered electric red. And I didn't just order one of each. Of course, I ordered more than one, right? Electric red. Lemon chiffon. Wild Wisteria, Blue Yonder, and you can see the prices right here. Um, like I said, they're retiring colors, so I don't know if they still have any, them in stock. Um, Cornflower, Sour Apple, Craft, Neutral, or Natural, sorry, Natural, and Black. Black licorice is what they call their color. So these are the colors that I did order and received. And of course, because my order went over 60, I got a free with 60 dye that says Mary. 
So that's my MFT order and that's it for now. And I'll be back to share some more things. Talk to you soon. Bye.